The Bauhaus School is one of the most influential design movements of the 20th century. Founded in 1919 by German architect Walter Gruppers, Bauhaus pedagogies changed art and design practices globally, reimagining the material world by amalgamating artistic expression and industrial designs using modern materials and manufacturing techniques. The Bauhaus came together to be more than just another design school. It wanted to be ahead of its time through its practices and its philosophy. This included gender equality. Advertised in the Bauhaus Manifesto, Gruppers declared absolute equality and proclaimed that the Bauhaus was open to any person of good repute, regardless of age or sex. In reality, Gruppers' idea of equality remained only a theory. He only permitted women to be admitted into the weaving workshop. The weaving workshop became more than just a dumping ground for Gruppers' female students. It became one of the most influential departments in Bauhaus. Its female students were part of one of the most commercially successful and innovative workshops. Using traditional weaving practices with experimental techniques, the weavers were able to explore textiles essential as both works of art and as utilitarian fabrics. Despite this imposed gender limitation, students like Gunter Strassel, Annie Albers, and Oli Berger worked around this by collaborating on innovative and sophisticated weaving techniques through experimentation. In terms of form, the female students orientated themselves on the lessons of Jonas Idoms, Paul Klee, and Wesley Kadinsky, transferring those artists' concepts of colour and form to the weaving loom. These students then blend Bauhaus teachings with traditional weaving techniques extending the textile design practice. Master weaver Gunther Schwazel, once a student turned Bauhaus master, became known for her intricate designs and colourful textiles. Piloting the shift from traditional pictorial weavings to modern industrial designs, Gunther encouraged experimentation with unorthodox materials such as cellophane, fiberglass, and metal, pioneering textile exploration and new weaving practices. Stossel opened up the possibility of exploring the artistic potential and design vocabulary of weaving. She also had a considerable impact on geometric abstraction in textile design and developing expressive weaving techniques. Under her artistic directions, the Bauhaus weaving department became one of the most sought after workshops for female designers. Fabric produced by these female artists slash designers became commercially successful, providing the school with vital and much needed income whilst extending the weaving practices for further textile designers. Despite the women of the workshop achieving commercial success, the school continued to have a bias towards its male students. The women of Bauhaus not only advanced the school's philosophy of uniting art and function, they were instrumental in laying the groundwork for textile exploration, weaving innovation and design, developing weaving design practice for the future textile designers.